Collie here. So last week, my nurse practitioner okayed it for me to go see a doctor, an addictions doctor at a different clinic than hers, and well, didn't turn out didn't, didn't turn out what I expected because um, the doctor I wanted to see wasn't available. So I ended up seeing a different doctor, and it was really frustrating because it was just. For one, it was just back and forth, back and forth, because she was um, talking about medication and stuff. But it was also, she she gave me, like, I'm lucky enough that she managed to um, renew her prescription, but it was also just frustrating that she wouldn't, when I was talking to her about higher dose and stuff like that, she was just not willing to do it. And then she was talking about how I need to quit illicit in order to, like, do in order to still get my safe supply and stuff like that, I told her that was not possible because you can't just quit drug. You can't just quit something and expect it. Expect another thing to, like, replace that, I guess. I don't know. It's just... It was really frustrating and just, like, really upsetting. So it was... Knowing that she kind of made it seem like I was doctor shopping, but also making it seem like, um... I was just doing this to get, a, like, a free high when that's not the case. I'm just trying not to die. That's the only thing that I'm trying to do is just with the with supply being so contaminated with fentanyl, it's like I don't know, it's any time that I pick up or pick up illicit or whatever it's um there's a chance because it's there's fentanyl in every like in meth now, so it's kind of scary and it's frustrating that I just had to go with back and forth conversation with this doctor and then having to get, um, trying to get it, like, trying to tell her, like, it's, my doctor said it was okay, I'm not, like, not trying to seek out it, like, not trying to doctor shop, whatever she was trying to say, but it was just, like, the first conversation was an hour, then she called me back and then said it was very inappropriate of me to do that, and, like, very inappropriate for me to seek out another prescriber and stuff, and... When I was in, when I was charted that from seeing that another doctor that said it was okay to do this, um, that there was fine, that they were, um, they were okay with taking me on and stuff, but now apparently it wasn't okay. But hopefully things will get worked out this week. And it was just upsetting and just heartbreaking to know that I can't get what I needed, and it really made me rethink the safe supply option that I have and just maybe quitting it because it's just having to go back and forth and just getting so frustrated with doctors is just not fun and it's just being accused of something but also being told that um, maybe quitting illicit would be a better option for me when that's not possible right now because it's just and having to go through like involuntary withdrawal and stuff like that is not very fun because it's not just, like, a lot of people assume that, like, when you withdraw from meth, it's just sleeping for a couple days, but it's not possible, because I've been using, it's not what it is for me anyways, it's, I get sick, I get chills, I get headaches, blah, 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 and I get, I can't eat, can't sleep, I'm just sweaty, and just, um, it's all a fun process, and it's kind of, I wish that this doctor would listen, would have listened to me, read my charting, and also saw that in my charting, and said it was okay for me to do that. But, at least she renewed my prescription, but it's also having to have that conversation with her about telling her, like, I'm not trying to find, like, I'm not trying to go to different doctors to ask for different meds. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to go to, after my nurse said it was fine to switch to a new prescriber, I really wish that doctor had listened and just understood that I was seeking a new doctor because my my nurse practitioner doesn't understand the safe supply right now. She doesn't understand what she's prescribing me, so that's why she said okay to for me to go to a different prescriber and yeah, it was just fucking frustrating. So let's hope this week turns out better because I don't know, it was upsetting and just frustrating and just angry because it's just she didn't listen. This doctor just didn't listen, and it's not okay because it's just, I'm not out there trying to seek a free way to get high. I'm trying to seek a new way to not have to die tonight, and just, 
I don't know. That was an update about safe supply because it's fucking frustrating, especially when doctors don't listen. Because it's just they should be able to give you that chance and understand that I'm not doing this to get high. I'm doing this to get fucking to not die tonight. <laughs> hopefully, but I'll update if there's what happened this week. So hopefully. So all I'm asking is just for like an increase and just like because the forty milligrams, forty milligrams is not enough. I don't feel like it's enough, and like I'm saving up medication weekly just to do medication week on one week and then elicit the next week, just to have that medication from that week saved up, just so I'm able to take a dosing that's appropriate for me. That would be like so I'm able to actually get a dose that makes me feel okay and makes me feel like I'm right in the head. So. Hopefully it works out this week.